Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for using the mod of course. Benito's Eldritch is Wild Ride Ahoy for Horror Mod, in which we are playing as, you know, I'm guess, you know, freaking Italy. But emotions are hidden behind a dark wall. There's undeniably a great cost of war, a cost of human life that mostly affects the emotions of those that live. We must bury these emotions deep under dark veil of indifference if we are to win this coming struggle, of course. People are dust and they can't be saved. We lose 20% HP, which seems like a lot, but commander ability cost goes down, breakthrough goes up by 10%, which is not bad. Humans are remarkably fragile, there's no denying that, but their fragility shall not concern their leaders when making a decision. All the orders will be fulfilled without looking back at the human cost. And skeleton of the world will collapse. The old world orders hanging on to fragile bones can no longer stand its weight. As one of them breaks, soon others will fall. Also, we did take out the rest of uh, France, which was actually relatively easy once we started pushing through. And we'll start taking everyone out pretty quickly, hopefully, as well, because we do have how many war goals? A few here and there, which is not bad. The goal is to invade the UK, but we'll see what happens. I don't know if we actually can or not. Um, good God, I hope we can. Uh, sometimes you have to do this several times, just so that you can navally invade, even though we have our guys here all ready to go. So, we'll see. And if it doesn't happen, then I'll reload the save, and we can go ahead and do it again, but, you know, whatever. And once we do that one, spread our tentacles across French Africa. Egypt is part of our rightful claims of the Mediterranean coast. The rest resides in the hands of the French, up until now, of course. And of course, there's super aerial. What can do? Able power projection, like all this normal stuff. Preserve uh, army traditions. There are many ideas floating around these days about new ways to wage war. While some of these probably have some merit, the foundation of any successful army has not changed since the days of Caesar. Discipline, individual courage, and keep all right, everyone. So the reason why we couldn't go is because our ships were currently repairing in the English Channel. They're actually repairing down here, and that's why we couldn't launch. But as you can see, now we're launching, and we seem to be okay. All you have to do is make sure that your ships are not doing repair stuff, and you'll be okay too. Um, so there is that. These guys are probably currently caught somewhere, which is not good. Actually, you know what's good? Just send all the guys over and take them out as fast as you can. That'd be great. Uh, oh, these guys did get caught. That sucks. But we do have planes here, ships here too. Uh, Fall of London, great. Another conquest for Italy. Yeah, really not that bad. You just gotta time it right with all your ships in the sea and have them set the order to go immediately. So, other than that, I mean, obviously we're gonna be losing stuff here. Maybe North Africa, maybe not. Let's we'll see. Oh, we're with Egypt too. Yeah, we're going to parts of Africa. I don't really care though. Nubia. And we also have six resource slots, which is very nice too. And the Spanish Civil War is still raging on, but I don't know anyone who gives a crap about that right now. We should play Spain again sometime. We lost a couple subs, convoys, subs. Subs aren't very good. It's fine. Um, honestly, if they all want to just like go to war with us, that's fine with me too. It's honestly not that difficult to do. Once you naval invade, or once you actually invade up here, like it's not that bad. Yeah, we can't let them have Plymouth. No Plymouth for them. No, sir. Everyone else, just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing fine. Rex Ham? Is that how you pronounce it? Probably not. Rex Hammy Hammy? Uh, so you can destroy us on each side. Equal amount. Oh, we did see electric too, though. Don't see too many, or we'll end up not taking very much once we do... Capitulate them and grab their navy too. Naval stuff, yes please. Thank you. Uh, not bad, not bad. And there goes you. Okay. It's so easy sometimes. I mean, obviously I struggled earlier on. Um, but uh, it's just because I didn't have my ships ready to go. So, thank you for the fleets. Select all, thank you. New Zealand, yes. Yes, I would also like Samoa. Um... Of course, it is on a historical, but still. Look at all these different little statelets. I don't know why you're decolonizing when they're all just going to become part of the Italian Empire, but you know, whatever. Especially the Raj, Belize. And get more daily compliance would be very nice, too. Now, the Germans are going to be difficult to take out. They're, they always seem to be difficult to take out. Why would you liberate all, everybody here? Do they deserve liberation? No, they don't. Beautiful. The Air Force successfully strengthened. Mussolini is taking personal interest in strengthening the Air Force and the use of production of new aircraft as an opportunity to showcase Italian industrialism. With Air Nautica at the center, several pieces of propaganda have been made celebrating Italian aviation and engineering. The Air Nautica will triumph. How strong is America right now? Led by off land and couple million manpower. We don't have enough divisions. Race it. And they're already 42 combos, which is pretty nice, in all honesty. 
We don't have enough anti air, but whatever. It's okay. I did this exactly. This exact thing I'm gonna play is Dino. Um, oh well. Oop, improved artillery, nice. Need way more already. Nice. Not bad. Nope. Why do I want to go to war with America? Because America is America. That's pretty much why. And I don't want I don't want to take them out before they get too strong too, so. Uh, that's gonna take a while to justify our on, on them, isn't it? 210 days is quite a few days. That gives us more time to make our army plumper, though. Which would be nice to do. Do that. Thicker, plumper, better, stronger. Dawn of the Asia group. Alright. Um, have you guys all train. You guys do this. And you deploy from here as well. Um, more ship stuff? Not really. We'll be fine. Preserve army traditions is good as well. And this one. The demands transfer. Oh, occupy a bank. If you want to put that, please go ahead. Get lower to Italy. Tell the president minds on business. Territory is not worth war. Go screw yourself, F uh, Alf Landon, not FDR. This one too. So we read that one earlier as well. 1.26 every day. Human sacrifices. Occupy Albania. If we fail, we hurt ourselves. But what else is new? Lagos? No one cares about Lagos. Prospect for resources, not bad. Dismantle the Magino line. No, I never do that. I never see the point in doing that. I know it's that we really need that, but still. Nice. I guess we could go to war with Belgium first. Are they guaranteed by anybody? No? No? Nice, there you go. Alright, I guess we'll take out Belgium first. Because why not? Why not? It's almost 1940. Grab some of this. Grab some of this. Feels looking okay ish for now. Maybe get some better guns. Latvia. Nothing there. We'll grab that one. And let's try to get some more tanks, too. Sure, sure, sure. Come over here. People are dust. They cannot be saved. And why would we want to save them, you know? Most people are not worth the time. Actually, you know what? Instead of this one, Stalin is victory in the Spanish Civil War. Go figure. And this one's dead for now. Um. Uh, of course, we question American sovereignty because who would not? And there's the German Empire. We'll take out these guys too. They're sailing on back, which is fine. Um, in all honesty, what are you guys at? Get to go to war with them soon, which is nice. What the barnacles are you doing? Still repairing, huh? All right, that's fine then. Alright, group carrier planes. We got plenty of air XP for this. Two twin engines, fighters. You're just a fighter stuff. Anything else really doesn't matter too much. Uh, two can heavy machine guns or cannons. I like the cannons. It's way more air attack. Air cannon stuff. The rest of the stuff can just go bye bye. He basic heavy airframe, huh? Basic mediums. There you go, we'll do that. And now we're going to need to do this again for this one, but now we're going to get some naval bomber stuff. Uh, cast, no, honestly, none of that stuff. Special modules floats. I don't know why you can do that. Dive brakes are fine. Extra fuel tanks are nice to have, but don't really need them. Not sure why we'd even need them. Strategic bombing, we're not doing strap bombing. Defense darts, light MGs, there you go. And time for the real plane stuff, so we're done with this one. Small airframes, we want the best fighters possible. Electronics, radio navigation, NAS, special modules, dive brakes, extra full tanks, no. Um, air attack, well, that's what this is all for. Fighter stuff, four light machine guns, two cannons. Hurts agility and weight and max speed. But my god, you get so much air attack, it's not even funny. Pretty small airframes, which would be very nice as well. And then Cass.
Dive breaks, cast weapons, small bomb bay. Literally, that's pretty much all you really want on these things. You might want to put on some light turret stuff, but might not. Interwar, oh, oh, interwar small airframe. Basic close air support, improved close air support. Um, Alright. Not bad. Machine insisted. This will not take very long. Nope. Almost there. Spread tentacles across Africa. So that's HP, huh? Yeah, people are dust. How much damage do you can suffer before it's destroyed? Less HP, but 10% more breakthrough. There's a crap ton of breakthrough, I hope. Goodbye, Belgium. In our new management, as you should be. Alright. Back to America. There you go. No Navy? What the barnacles is this about? American Apple have captured, which makes sense. I'm sure they don't like us very much. Start spying on them in Illinois. Maybe Detroit. Maybe the DC area. Maybe California. Ah, yes. Oops. Well, we should have done that. I was protecting them. That actually would have been a lot better for us. God dang it. Oh well. My bad. We could have got a war with Greece too for free, basically. Whoopsie. Oh well. We have a war goal against them, anyways. Rebels overtake French North Africa. Yeah, I hardly understood what happened. One day I was in Tunis drinking with wine, picking up local women, just faintly remember hearing about a mutiny of dozens of foreign legionnaires. The next day, a whole town turned into a war zone between French troops, foreign legion, and lo armed locals, all blaming the other parties for the first part of the first shot. Also, agreed about this, please go ahead. Even the battalion retreated deeper into the land, only seeing the clouds of black smoke emerging from the seas on the horizon. The radio he was taken care of proved to be useless. Only static and sometimes pure gibberish came out of it. Every, every village they marched through so far seemed deserted for some time, so supplies were running dry. Few captured locals didn't share any useful info, info even when tortured. They only spoke of robed men who would come for the Frenchies. This was madness. Then he heard it. A coded message broadcast to the military frequencies. It ordered Pierre's battalion to march 27 kilometers north to a small fishing village where French mainland forces had been landed. The group would evacuate. Pierre and other soldiers departed immediately. When they arrived on the place, they found nothing, only the laughter of the thirsting cultists. Viva la France! Nine sorcerers. They come into possession of our ancient artifacts and seats of power, forgotten in the sands of time, that will lead, lead the most capable of us to control the very waters of our sea. Nine throws. In a conquest that we erected many statues commemorating our military successes. The statues, uh, built from the bones of our enemies, will guide us in the future, always remembering what we are capable of. There's more in the future too, because like we saw the uh, oh, Poland returned stance as well. Um, we saw the image, or maybe you saw the Steam page for this, the image of Mussolini and it's on the thumbnail too. But what was there more? I hope it's here. We can see that. Italy looking pretty thick. Still need more oil though. Could always use more oil. Sacrifices? Sure. Um, super area will do next. Army leaders, perhaps? Our armies must be led by the most capable officers available. It is imperative that we create a steady flow of new and, and competent officers to maintain the advantage. Italian tickets. While the other countries might develop ever larger and heavier tanks in search of the super tank that will render all other tanks obsolete. Another the best thing is the tank that's actually on the field. A tank must be fast enough to go wherever it's needed in time, and it only really need, needs armor heavy enough to withstand rifles. Such a vehicle will be cheap and quick to produce. Nice. Extraction goes, why not? We don't have enough rubber. Sure, why not? Not bad. 
Not bad at all. How many more days do we have to wait to go towards America? Oh, not that many more days. We do want to build some air bases here, too. Right over here, right over here. Uh, probably get... Just starting that stuff would be good. It's an intelligence service pro program. More ships, huh? Our new goal is Italy. Oh, the Italian center was in session, and it looked very different from itself just a year prior. Dim lighting, rope figures, animals, skeletons, and art sacrificial altars. And Benito Mussolini was on top of that. The Italy, he himself, he should have shared the world their might. They reclaimed their ancestral Roman lands, crushed anyone who opposed them, and made the world, in their, the world kneel. Our triumph is not the end, it's only the point from which we start. We begin marching towards future triumphs, Mussolini was roaring in speech. Soon we'll reach all corners of the earth. Our empire will reach from the English seas to the Sea of Japan, from Alexandria all the way to Cape. This is my dream and yours too, and I'll give you my word we will achieve it. The crowd bursted into applause. Hundreds of throats shouted, your dreams, our dream. Mussolini felt exalted, burst into vigor. Then suddenly he saw a figure, clothed in a yellowish robe, sitting among, among the crowds. Very well, did you hear the whisper among the lords? Oh no. Uh-oh. Happy 1940 though, by the way, everybody. What is happening? Does everything fall apart? Do we change? No, we're still here. Um, has anything else happened? So known as Italy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, look at that. It happened again. Our fingertips got through everything here. That looks still pretty good, though. Well, not all of it. Uh, that actually worked out really nicely for us. This is disgusting. They went all the way through here, up to here, all the way through the Soviet Union during their civil war to do that confrontation. You imbecile, you moron! Why are you torment me like this? Mussolini is holding the prince at gunpoint in the Senate back room, shouting at him. It's all your actions. I only allow them to happen. The prince responded in the sleek voice he used. He's used to. Oh boy. Uh, you change our borders, give us this barren, unconnected land. I assume that you are connected. They are connected. Shut up, shut up, you freak. Benito pulled the trigger at his pistol, but no shot came out. He looked at it only to see that the metal was white hot and melting along with his hand. The pain was overwhelming. Oh! Now that's very cool. Tournaments of El Duce. His body. He was tormented. His body was being stretched over and over on a distance of kilometers. His organs barely functioning. His consciousness was broken into pieces, and every piece was forced to look at the other ones gasping the horrors of their state. His own flesh was turned into the gates of, to another uncomprehensible dimension, through which he saw and felt horrors and the best. Pain, pain, pain. Guadalupe, no. Rebirth. Mussolini collected his thoughts for the first time in what felt like an eternity. He was in great pain. He, he. He liked it. Kind of like me with the girls. Anyways, he saw how his body could overcome its limits, how his, his consciousness could be everywhere at the same time. He saw through the dark gates dreams he couldn't possibly dream. He saw the potential of the yellowish prince suffering both character. Knee deep in horror. Oh, look at that! We're abysmal Italy. I love being abysmal. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Also, we're doing this division. Um, now we good, man. Uh, what are we still lacking? We still need these tank stuff. Planes, yeah, plane wise, we looking, we lacking hard. You no, know, we could try it, see what happens. If we do well, great. If we don't, then we don't. But you know, whatever. And we're beating the crap out of them. Uh, 4,000. Wow. 67,000 losses. Jesus Christ.
In whales? Yeah, I do it in whales. No one cares about whales. Well, I don't think we're going to suffer too many issues here. Probably. I could be wrong, though. could be very wrong. But you never know. Better medium tanks. Nice. More armor, sure. Fuel refining, yes. Don't think we're going to need it too much. We'll get that one, too. Um, cruisers. Heavy ships. Heavy ships. Lots of heavy ships. Good. Air stuff, nice. Very good. Uh, yeah, this mod makes them really brokey. We're already all the way through almost, literally all of Indiana almost. Armor leaders are nice. Oh, a little bit of lag. Let's do a super aerial so we can get that one done. So keep going to the focus tree if we can. Very nice. Anything here? Scholarship academies. Iron side split. Sure, why not? Soviet Hellenic Pact, huh? An unusual alliance. But one that doesn't really consider, concern us too much. I love press censorship. It looks beautiful. Knee deep in horror. Oh, we got DC too. That's nice. Uh, Facebook promoted. Oh, we're out of fuel. But if we get down to Texas, we should be fine, right? Go down to Houston and San Antonio and Dallas. So far, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. It is quite a bit more fuel, though. Oh my god, there's even more. Hive Mind Mega Command. Impossible Tower of Malta. The dead will march. Recruitable population 500%. Any human resources. Who like this one? And I like the strugglers. You have, you have a feeling of helplessness as your best friend, Savage. Everything and anything they have. Excavation's good. Um, subs, maybe? Maybe not. Wow. But they promoted. I'll have to redouble back and go there. Hive mind, mega command. For million, the individuality was a sad reality, a limiting factor to capabilities of a unified armed force. Luckily, not anymore. Tens of thousands of weak, fractured minds will buy bonded to get in one greater brain. One will see them for all, and one will think for them all, and one will act for them all. Beautiful, my friends. Austria joins the Central Powers. Well, that sucks for them. So there's a go. We're going to go all the way through here as fast as hard as we can, and then double back and go back. Abysmal scar. Beacons of resistance against our conquest is lighting up across the Atlantic, thinking themselves safe from us thanks to the sea, but our tentacles are already squirming under deep blue waters, ready to crawl across the distant land. I love the squirming. Mmm. I love it when she squirms. 
but she can't run away. Anyways, nice. Birth. Austria votes to rejoin Germany, huh? Keep going through all these other areas first. Soviet Union, whatever. Human sacrifice is nice. There you go. There you go as well. 16 com not subs, they're not even combos, they're just subs. Jesus. The impossible tower of Malta. On the island of Malta, a great tower rises, one that pierces the sky and hosts the whole nation of its bowels, the devil march. Roman legionnaires, Carthaginian warriors, Celts, Vandals, Goths, Lombards, Austrians, French, everyone bearded and Italian soldiers rising from the graves to fill our ranks, no matter how much time has passed since their demise or time And is now we have the impossible tower of Malta almost done, and the Pope interferes. Just as Vittorio Emmanuel was strapped to the out of sacrificial altar and Benito himself was raising up the dagger aimed at, aimed at the old man's heart, the doors of the Italian center burst open. Through them, the Pope himself entered. Your wickedness comes to an end, Antichrist. I will not let you, uh, to have to do your own future devices anymore, and I will save all the souls you led astray, for God is close beside me. His rod and his staff protect and comfort me. The Pope strikes at the ground with a staff of his own. I cast you back to the hell from once you came. Benito froze in motion, then he started to laugh maniacally. His laughter grew louder and louder, more powerful every second until it hit the Pope with a sound wave that shattered the man into pieces of crushed flesh and bone. The laughter traveled through the streets until it hit the St. Peter Basilica and shattered it too. Every army leader gets 6 of 6. Brain matter sculpture. The skeletal cross of Greece. All over the Balkans, convoys are marching, bringing skeletal remains that will find their purpose as a foundation for new dockyards and dry docks, enveloping the coast of Greece with pale white walls. And human resources. People are merely exchanged for value for a strategic resource. And when these resources are hastily needed, some exchange might be spent. Shapeshifting commissars. All men have their own doubts and fears. That is unacceptable. Our leader and his cause demand unconditional loyalty in every second of our life. The spread of such doubts must be stopped with the use of fanatical enforcers. No one will be poisoning the other minds when his comrade, brother, spouse, father, daughter, mentor can at any moment be revealed to be a zealous commissar, ready to be execute a troublemaker. Having six research slot at an accelerated rate, and it is just... It's awesome. As we are getting ready to invade Nubia and Malta and all these different areas and zones as we get ready as well to probably honestly pretty much invade everybody else. Like that's my goal. Abysma Italy and Mexico is a gigantic freaking mess. My god. Actually can we go to war them too? How long would it take for us to go to war them? I'd rather just take them out in all honesty. Who else are we justifying on? Just yeah we got a pretty picture. We are so pretty it's not even funny. We are the picture of health and beauty and whatnot. Uh, and we also get rid of the, the light tanks, but now we're using medium tanks, so that's better. I prefer it like that. Still working your way down here. Let's go to Coast of Greece. Yes. Engines running on blood. Blood we have plenty of, fossil fuels we have a, a few. It's only rational. Develop engines, I can run them both. Enslave, home of the free. There's nothing more putrid and revolting than a free will. To propagate is a crime against the Zeducian prince and all, as all civilized nations will agree, guilty, the guilty must be punished. Yes, they do. Alright, so you guys are good to go. For the most part. Yeah. Nice. We need extra fuel? Not really, no, but whatever. You guys keep training if you need it. You guys keep training if you need it. These two armies are going to be the ones that march through most of Europe. Which will be fine with me. You guys are good to go as well. Nice, Malta will be ours. Let's go ahead. We have our subs here do, doing all the work that needs to be done. After this, probably the Dutch. And we got them. So we get our Romania, huh? Beautiful. 
Honestly, how much of an army do they even have? Three tank divisions might be more than enough. Take them out, maybe. Maybe not. Nope. Yep. Nice. More human sacrifices, please. And we can just do because why not? Keep working on this stuff as well. That'd be nice. Get these guys up here as fast as possible. There you go. Uh, Schnorkel is probably not. Actually, we're behind on a lot of things here, like research and whatnot. Nope. And here we go as well. Nice. Skin the dragon. The vast lands of East Asia hold uncountable amounts of people that would better serve as fuel for rituals, or break the ancient seals of Shintoism, Confucianism, and reap the most bountiful harvest of them all. Because why not? And there go the Dutch. Hey, the Dutch have been calling you in. me in time for a little fun with the Mexicans, even though the Germans are trying to prepare a coup against us, which is not going to go very well for us, which kind of sucks. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully they don't get cooed and the monarchy is reinstated, but you never know. You really never know with these things, so. I'm brought by the German Empire, but I don't think we really care at this point. I like the way we're doing this here. And I would use cons commands because AI wants to do that no matter what. Well, we'll see about that. And there goes Mexicans. Thank you, Mexicans. We love taking over half your country to begin with and then just killing you off after that. Uh, this is a mont mess. Oh, boy. You guys are there. You're all, like, separated from each other, too. This is ridiculous. That, too. Uh, you guys go up there. And let's see how do the best you can. Up here. You're not going to do that well, but whatever. Are they all part of Central Powers? No. I need y'all to beeline it. Quickly, quickly, quickly from there. Go, 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 go. There to there. That's pretty good overall. Original government of the United Kingdom? Huh? Barrage? Huh? Please. Hey, we actually have one division already back. Wow. And human resources. We question our sovereignty. We can go to war with them too if we need to. Sacrifice of Victor Emmanuel. It's a miracle that Victorio of Emmanuel III is still alive today. In Italy, of course. But his luck ends now. Look at him plotting to take you down, but it was you, Benito, who saved Italy from the collapse after the Great War, not him. Just like it wasn't his grandfather who unified Italy, it was Garibaldi. How has the voice been leeching on deeds of true conquerors for too long? Time to put him down. Go, my division, go. Ah, uh, an anniversary of remembering how we killed off the British Empire. Beautiful. How many medium tanks do we actually have? None! Okay. They're all swimming in the ocean, taking forever. So what is that decision with, uh, honeymoon resources and whatnot? Uh, Regno Horori. Oh, okay. We get cores. The Republic of Crimea will be known as the Republic of Crimea. Oh, so human sacrifice is pretty normal. Uh, Germany offers support for monarchist coup. Human sacrifices, yes. Uh, inhuman resources, building slot. The German Empire has approached pro monarchy and anti fascist elements of the Italian government and the underground with plans for the assassination of Mussolini and the institution of Victoria. Victor Emmanuel III is leader of the nation. The Germans ensure us can handle the assassination. All we have to do is affirm our willingness to create a replacement government and a pledge of future military support of the German endeavors. Let's we'll look to the monarchy in times like this. We'll never bend in a ways. Are you kidding me, bro? Joseph, please. And now with better ships. Mm. 
beautiful. Go, 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 go. Just in case. Yeah, we have some divisions in place, which is great. Most of the divisions are now it's in place. Heavenly Top Malta, huh? This point doesn't even matter for making ships, really. Ah, on the small island of Malta, a great tower was erected. The tower that at first pointed into the clouds and scraped, then scraped them and then pierced them, leaving them far beyond. Or behind as it grew more and more, leaving the earth behind and scraping the cosmos itself. So that if it almost left the globe's atmosphere, it was the top of this tower. It was a round room with eight pillars supporting a roof. But in between the pillars there was nothing. Just an empty piece or space leading to the empty space of the cosmos. On the floor there lay three frozen mummies on the face of smiles forever frozen in place, for they have died faintly touching the void itself. Oh, throw tentacles into the cogs of the Kriegs machine. The mighty war machine is mobilizing its cogs, revving up its engines, heating up its furnaces, all the defiles will not sit idly. We will break their puny industrial gods and show them the true power of higher beings. Call it Italian pressers, huh? Do your worst. Press censorship. I love press censorship. They're so pretty. Alright, well, let's go and see what we can do. Your team's gonna be a madhouse, though. Germany under attack, yeah? Yeah. Like, this pocket here will be. Oh, they did. Uh, Austria did vote to annex, or, you know, be annexed by them. This will be fine, this will be fine, that'll be fine, that'll be fine, probably too. I mean, I'm not super worried about this. There's so many modifiers stacked on top of each other, I'm not concerned. Where's a Cass? Beautiful. Empty air. Awesome. Help him out down here too. Luxembourg needs to die. Oh, we lost every single division. Well, that's not good. Britannia rules the graves. England and whatever represents will be buried in an avalanche of violence that remains only in the heart of the crying widows. Kill and crush them all here, that'd be great. There we go. It's fine, it's fine. There you go. Should be more than fine. Luxembourg. Up to his hours. Very good, very good, very good. We've lost 160,000 versus 640,000. Not bad. We definitely need a race to Berlin, though. Brain sculpture matter. Brain is a fascinating tool, one that princes develop mastery and sharpening of. Good, Berlin's the frontline city too. 
Nice. Just a slow sprint through there, but whatever. Come on, take Berlin, take Berlin. Come on. Everyone's suffering horrendous losses. But we got him. A very ugly way of getting them, but whatever. A product of a fractured or tortured brain. Human modularity. Humans were a subject of study by the Poirins for a long time. Their flaws, limitations, but finally they found an ad hoc cure for the limiting factor of uniqueness. Uh, Hellas, Spain, Cyprus, Romania, China. Jesus Christ. Nope, not Belgium either. A product of a tortured brain. During his meeting of the general staff, uh, one of the generals started poking the side of the head with his finger, of course. Because why not? Soon after the blood uh, started to spill from the rest of the spot, he was poking at his finger and managed to sink into his head. Ooh, yum yum. That's yeah, just too. I'm afraid of it, the general kept poking at himself, sinking the whole finger in and the whole fist. As everyone turned, everyone froze to look at him, he pulled his hand out of grasping a web of brain matter. Seemingly out of nowhere, the prince appeared behind the man. This fine volunteer eagerly helped me present to you all my newest discovery. He says began to play the brain strings as if it was a harp. Forget about learning and adaptation. I'll make you be the best leaders in one evening. Power to overwhelm and destroy. I love it. Shaping a great leader. Put down the puny bear. The Soviets developed a misguided view that they are some of the superpowers. Some sort of superpower. They will benefit itself from our actions. Now that we've actually turned our gaze towards them, they will know pain. As they should. Well, actually, are they a puppet of them? Oh. Yeah, whatever. Should be able to move fast enough through here, but you never know. Yes, yeah, so once you should be able to move fast on through here, then we'll send these are down here, let's send the guys to up here. They'll be busy trying to up, get up, rid of all this old stuff anyways. Um shaping of a good leader. Oh, that's what too. Benito is woken up from uh, under a slumber. He saw the prince right before him, lifting his robe. Underneath was an entangled network of organs and veins, all in broad view with no flesh covering them. What is the meaning of this? Benito asked softly. Uh your kind is to discover the pleasures of having your organs feel the breeze of air, the excitement of displaying them to everyone. But it's not the issue I'm visiting you with. The prince looked at the cloak more showing three human heads beneath to recognize him. Adolf Hitler, August of Mackinson, and Princess Victoria. These are the parts of the great leaders that we slayed. And I'll be part of you. We get Dictator. Weekly War Spark, Countable Casualties. Great Hero. We get Victoria the Third. We're unstable. Yeah, we're pretty unstable. Wow. Brick machine, nice. Happy 1941, everybody. Happy 41. Oh, yeah, they're going through there, too. That's fine, too. That's pretty certain. Hmm. I'll go with Thomas Rangers, because I never use that one. I'll probably never use that again, too. Because we can. 
All I care about is capitulating them, and then we're going to move on to the Soviet Union. I really agrees. Pacification of the Second Rome. Foul smell cloaks the ruins of the late Byzantine Empire will cleanse them of it. Oh, scourging of Babylon. We'll scorch Babylon to the ground. We'll put the sword every man, woman, and child like we did thousands of years ago. For the first time, we destroy them for the hubris. This time, for the cowardice, it's simply because they're weak. And make trains run beyond time. The whole kind is under our boots. People, wherever they live, will experience the same fate. All roads are being by blood, and all will lead to Rome. And shadows over Innsmouth. There's a handful of people around in the fishing towns in New England that were available or are waiting for a coming for decades. It's time to grab up your arms. Your rapture has come, which we'll probably use consequence for this one as well. Reshaping the world as long as the game doesn't lag too hard here. Um, so we did all these, but we're down here. Thanks to the forbidden knowledge and unlimited fanaticism of the cult's loyal regime. And it's put all the world under our boots. Now that there's none to oppose us, we're free to mold the planet into an image of our choice. Blood alone moves the wheels of history, as we are going to go to war with the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth because we can be we're the only people that should have a hat. Good luck in near Warsaw. Everything else we're gonna kill off too. Also, we did liberate Regnum Horori, led by a Black Sea Spectre, which has a generic victory, and Svestodia. Grievous Escobar, so that, that's what we can release. That's what we went to war with these guys so we can do... Oh, we also had strikes for some reason. I don't understand why. Um, there's one, another one here too, but we, I guess we have to wait for the war to be over. So, uh, yes, not bad, not bad. The campaign's overall quite fun. Not, not not too difficult to either, so, wow. Wow. We're shaping the world. The world lies before us and the stars are watching, and they will be next. Uh, C. Um, if that's the case, I'm just going to go and click on this one, and do that one. Abysmal Italia. Oh, Sweden's dead too, so. C, 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 C. Is that doing the, oh. C, si, senor. Senor. Oh. It lags every time you do this. Abysmal Italy. Well, I think that might be it for the campaign, really. I don't see anything else here unique or different. Um, also, the, the description for the campaign also said that the, a lot of the GFX, uh, you know, the graphics were uh, a work in progress still, and they still are, the time it's recording too, but you know, that's okay. I'm very pleased with this mod. I'm glad I chose to play this mod because it's a lot of fun. Forty divisions left. Afterthoughts. Mussolini was standing atop the roof of the Italian Senate. He looked down below the streets that were drowned in blood and violence. He wondered why the petty pedestrians engaged in terror. He understood why the big and mighty were arranging genocides of the whole cities. They could earn the blessings of the eldritch gods by that. But what could one earn from crucifying one neighbor? He wondered. He felt sick. He knew it wasn't the work of the prince but his own neglect. He hadn't eaten in a long time. Practically didn't sleep nor well, wash himself. Wash himself. He felt his, muscles getting, felt his muscles getting weaker. His bones itched. He often bled from the nose and often uh, felt a layer of filth on his skin. He, he did not care. Well, should he care for that when all the days are the same? When he feels it changes nothing? When he knows he can end himself at any given moment and the future doesn't deliver? You called me, asked the yellowish prince, appearing behind El Duce? Yes, I had. What is your wish, then? Benito reflected unto himself to die as a man. To live as a horror. Uh, what happens if he dies as a man? Oh! We can keep him, or I get the yellowish prince, which is kind of cool. He's a prince of terror. Even though we don't get nearly as, as many benefits and cons for all that stuff, so... I think that's pretty much it going to be for this campaign, though. It's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot. If you haven't tried it out yet, I, should, I would really recommend it. Um, it reminds me of some, like, one of the, uh, Hoi for Old World Blue, Blues mods about, like, Hellgate and stuff like that, or something like that. A lot of fun. But I would really recommend that this mod. I was glad I, I just, I was scrolling through the Steam Workshop one day, and I'm like, oh, what is this about? Lesser Hyperborea. Oh, it's just Prussia. Ah, this guy, possessed by Dark Brandon. Ha! <laughs> Less speed, but division attack against modern countries. And it's still the German focus tree. But they have all the coast. Look at that, that's interesting. They have all just the coast up here. That's cool. So. But yeah, not bad overall. I mean, we could just use consequence to annex everybody, but I think I'm pretty good about it. We're around with this campaign. But if you enjoyed it, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, abysmal Italian yellowish prince rest of your day.